Hey YouTubes, welcome back to Stupid Robot Fighting League. My name is John Espin, inventor of Stupid Robot Fighting League. I must apologize for this video. I forgot to hit the record button straight away on my cameras. So the fight, as you see it, will be 30 seconds into the fight. So you've still got about a minute, 30 seconds worth of fight. And it's a good fight. So this fight is fight three out of three at the Oktoberfest at the Te Puki Baptist Church. So enjoy. So on the left we have Invincible, the rookie fighter, with Toyminator Metal Rex. Toyminator Metal Rex is sponsored by the Tipuki Toy Library. Toyminator Metal Rex boasts a sturdy toaster head, a metal stand from a gooseneck light for a fist, and a dog slash toy vacuum cleaner for a leg. On the right we have the Rustler, another first time fighter, and he's fighting with Third Pound Wave, Burger Fuel's official stupid robot. Third Pound Wave is mainly made from an Electrolux vacuum cleaner with some toy parts. Thanks so much to our friends at Giggle Entertainment for supplying the swag for our fighters. You can check them out at gogiggle.nz. Let's go to the taunts. Taunt. Your body is worse than rubbish. It sucks. Taunt. Dust our washing machine vacuum broom. Round one. Okay, fight number three from Oktoberfest 2018. Invincible on the left and the Rustler on the right. And we're 30 seconds into the fight and they are laying into each other. If you notice that the Rustler and Third Pound Wave have only one arm left. And uh, so he's holding on to the frame now and then and uh, trying to get some more leverage in his hits. Now, if you have a look... At the Invisible with Torminator Metal Rex on the left, you can notice that the left hand is starting to let go. That is a vacuum cleaner head, and uh, I think the uh, screws have started coming undone. So I've just stopped the fight and just checking to see if everything is still attached. Everything is still attached, so we're carrying on with the fight. There we go. These guys did not hold back in this fight. As you can see, the Rustler has in uh, Invincible right in his face at the moment. And uh, that's a bit of a problem when you're fighting. What you need to do is pull back your stupid robot to get a clear shot into the body of your opponent. So they're busy just sort of jostling. Oh, there we go. That is the left hand. The vacuum cleaner head is now out. So they're now down to one arm each. I believe the two feet are still attached. And they're having a bit of a giggle there. And uh, I'm still checking my cameras because I was pretty miffed that I was not recording for the first 30 seconds. Right, we're about to start again, and here we go. So if you notice, um, we have minus one arm, and uh, we have minus one arm on both sides. Looks like uh, the Rustler is really having a good kick there, trying to utilize his feet, uh, alleviate a bit of stress on the hands. So we've got the two-handed technique, uh, the old sort of pike, uh, what's the word? The old, it looks like he's stabbing with a pike, uh, the invincible there. And uh, it, it is a good option um, to use two hands to, uh, to stab your opponent there, as long as your uh, arm holds out. And looks like the fight's going to finish soon. Not many shots landing really nice and cleanly, but uh, still enough to damage a whole lot of stuff. So that is, that's fight over. So looking at the uh, stupid robots, looks like we're going to have to uh, untangle them a little bit. And uh, do what's called a limb count. A limb count is where we count how many limbs are still attached to the uh, fighter's um, poles there. And so looking at both of them, I think we've got two legs and one arm on third pound wave and two legs and one arm on Torminator Metal Rex, which means that it's a draw. So there is no winner. Well, that's a bit of a shame. We like destruction here. Okay, just having a look at the slow-mo, we can see uh, with Invincible and Torment and Metal Rex where the fist on the right hand... Yeah, there we go. See, the fist let go on the left hand there, which was the vacuum cleaner head. So uh, we needed to remove that. And that is the moment where the fight equalized. Hey, thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. Um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, um, all those wonderful things that helps the channel out. Uh, remember that you can support Stupid Robot Fighting League for a dollar a month on Patreon if you want to. And thank you so much to Giggle Entertainment for supporting Stupid Robot Fighting League and supplying the prizes for our fighters. You can check them out at gogiggle.nz.
And remember that you can buy uh, your own Stupid Robot Fighting League t-shirt at stupidrobotfightingleague.com and uh, have a look at the designs and see if there's anything that you would like to purchase. Thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.